Alrighty, what is going on you guys? It's your boy Wide Up here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 reaction video. Today I am bringing you guys the combat cast for Ermac and Movado, man. Two characters that I think, uh, well I say two, but one is a returning favorite, man. Ermac, everybody loves Ermac, man. The Red Ninja of Hype. And then Movado, you know, all, you know, three Movado fans are happy that he's back, man. And we're also going to be giving some updates on the uh, new season. I think it's the Raiden season. Uh, so we will be getting Dark Raiden. That's going to be sick to see. And what could potentially be a new uh, defensive option, which would look like it was a pushback option, like we saw in the trailer, um, which is pretty cool if that's the case, because, man, we haven't had a we haven't had that defensive option since Injustice 2, man. It's kind of crazy how to think that Injustice 2, that game had like four defensive options compared to, you know, these last two games with the MK11 and MK1, man. Like Injustice 2 had the Clash. Uh, it had the, like the predecessor to Breakaway that we later saw in MK11 that pretty much became the mainstay for that game. Uh, we had the uh, roll escapes, which I'm surprised never came back either because that was pretty fun to have And then obviously the pushback, you know, we we had the pushback option in that game So it's kind of funny how like we didn't get any of the of those two in MK11 and we probably might be getting an MK1 Which is awesome because let's be honest. There's not a lot of defensive options in this game to begin with you know, you have up blocking, but that only works against, you know, jumping opponents and maybe some gaps with overheads. Um, and then again, you could just mind game those. If uh, if you're really like, you know, kind of like a higher level player, you could just mind game that. Uh, and then obviously your your breakaway. Uh, with, but that, you know, that requires an entire full meter and cameo to use. So it'd be nice to actually have a fully, you know, like a whole brand new defensive option man with uh, with this pushback but you know only time will tell we'll see when they when they do start it but that's gonna be it for this intro guys i will see you guys in just a bit when it starts all right here we go hello everyone and welcome to the combat cast a very exciting combat cast oh it's weird seeing him without a hat <laughs> The usual trio. Everyone knows that. <laughs> you don't see that. That's, that's the design. Well, we call it to come a bit now. Um, so here's the deal. We are, before we get started on showing Ermac and talking about some of the stuff that's happening <laughs> with this update, mm -hmm. let's show the Ermac trailer one more time for those of you who have not seen it. Booyah. I have not seen the trailer yet, man. Come on now. Stop, stop joshing with us, Tyler. Everybody's seen the Ermac trailer. That's a little loud. You have shamed the souls of your ancestors. Which of my ungrateful kin are within you? I love how they always show Shao Kahn with Goro, but I don't think anybody who plays Shao Kahn uses Goro. <laughs> that is just a funny thought to me. You know, speaking about it, I think Movado might be that one cameo that everybody might be using, bro. He just seems like a, such a universal uh, cameo for anybody, which is good. That's what, what you want, you know, like like a um, chameleon. You, might be many, but I am you know, like. One. He might be good with Lee May, who all we know, because let's be honest, Lee May, bro, who I love her, but she's struggling. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some monsters with uh, Lee May Scorpion, but it's like, you know, all the best Lee May players are using Scorpion, because he's like the really, he's really like the only one that can like help her do a like a, a crap ton of damage, you know. So it's nice to see that they're starting to give out some uh, some more universal um, cameos. Oh, did they show it? Yeah, there's uh, there's reptiles new stuff. 
Mm, 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 that combo's so sick with Ermac, though. Man, those re-stands are gonna be crazy in the corner. Yeah, watch this. Look at that. Ooh, a fucking a pushback, man. It's nice to see that come back, man. MK11 desperately needed that. So it's nice to see that they're bringing it back here, man. I just find it weird that they just they, they, they just never brought back a lot of those options to these last two recent MK games, you know. But it's nice to see one of them finally come back. And hopefully they will discuss it. If not, that'd be kind of crazy. Classic fatality. From Pete Wentz. <laughs> yeah, I just been going around saying my looks like Pete Wentz, you know, uh, the bases for Fallout Boy. <laughs> he just looks like that to me. I don't know why. They just they just made him look like that. Alright, let me let me put the let me put the uh volume back up a bit. All five of us. <laughs> oh, correction. Uh, I think in my Ermac video, uh, reaction video, I think I, I called uh, Movado a black dragon. He's actually a red dragon. He belongs to the red dragon clan, not the black dragon clan. All right. Invasions. Mm. We're calling character trials where we force you into a specific character and have you use their moves to get through this scenario we put together for it. Um, they're a lot of fun. Okay, there's, that's nice. That's a, that'll, that'll, there, that'll definitely so spice up uh, invasions. Let's be honest, man. These past few seasons, invasions have been just boring, dude. But it's nice to see that they're really like, you know, grant, you know, not to play devil's advocate here. If I'm using that term correctly, but they do listen to us, you know, so they, they do listen to our complaints and stuff, you know, despite sometimes they have like the radio silence, you know, but uh, it's nice to say that they're making invasions a little bit more, you know, they, they're putting more variety into invasions. God, I hope that's only for invasions only, not an actual new gameplay thing they gave them. I made time to play all these because I think they're very wacky and funny. Yep, awesome. Uh, anything else you want to add? No, no, that's pretty much it. Well, and any new relics? Because look at all the relics oh, fucking suck, dude. Season of the storm. Raiden is our new invader. Hey. And, um, I, I'll just leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Of course, we'll have a new Titan battle and all our normal shenanigans, free character trials as well, um, in which we've removed the um, the level requirement to get into the gateway. So as soon as there's a character trial, you can just go right in there and not wait to be level five to go into the gateway. Oh, great. Yeah. That was a thing. Uh, the fuck? That's weird. Play. I never know. I never knew that. Just now cross play. Woo! So now you can play with people on different platforms. Yes. Oh, your, uh, King of the Hills no cross play? For your friends for cross Let's play go. First party. Awesome. Yeah. So that's, I know we've been asking for that finally here. We'll try to get you guys to get in and uh, I know you want to go through the tournaments that way and things yeah. like yep. that. So that'll be awesome. Nice, so nice, nice. Now all the uh, like top level people can stop crying about it. Scorpion. Okay, that's nice. Interesting. Rain's pretty uh, strong already. Has a new long range uh, yeah, he's got like the MK2 classic spit that goes. Wow, really? Rain. Rain's interesting because I think I think Rain's a pretty strong character in my opinion. 
At least the reins I go up against are pretty good. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Yes. Meditating and learning new techniques. Let's go. What'd they do with my boy Shijinko? Please. Hell yeah, because you know me, man. I like my boy Shijinko. Here we go. Let's see what they did for Shijinko. Uh -huh. Was that a ambush? Wait, hold on, hold on. I have to see that again. Hold on, let me. Oh no, okay, there's still summon, but he gets new moves now. Nah, bro, Shujinko, let's go, let's go. You know what I mean? I love my Shujinko. Oh, the triple fucking... That was sick. Oh, you can do setups now with Shijinko? What? Nah, bro. Dude, Shijinko. Oh, my God, dude. That was so cool. No, bro. Now he can. Now you can do fucking set play with Shujinko. That's foul. That's foul. Maybe Shujinko is already one of my cameos to begin with. No, dude. That was sick. He now has Re dude. He might be viable against Reiko now, because let's be honest, against Reiko, Shujinko was not good, man. He gets his parry and his uh, his like knee slide, which are okay, but he gets Reiko's fucking command grab now. That's sick. That's sick. Can't wait to go into the lab and see those, man. I can't wait to check out what he got in the lab now. He got Baraka's pop up. He gets fucking Katana's uh, square wave. He doesn't. He gets to do three of them in a row. That's sick. That's sick. I'm hyped. I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. That was sick. That was sick as shit, dude. That was sick as shit. I can't wait to get my hands on Shujinko tomorrow, bro. I'm gonna go off with that guy. Yeah, expect some videos with Shujinko, man. Once I get those those down, man, expect some videos with Shujinko. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say, man. That was so cool. That was so cool. I can't. I want to see what he does with all the other characters, man. Brock is pop up. Lee May's lantern. Reiko's command grab. Like, oh. Bro, imagine if he gets fucking Sindel scream. That'll be crazy. That'll be crazy. That'll be crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep quiet because now they're gonna work on Ermac. But I'm hyped for, I'm hyped for those Shujinko uh, buffs, man. Ooh. Okay, rush down Ermac. So is it like the same like spectral Ermac? Where it's like very like floaty? Yeah, I do think he has pretty much all of the classic move you expect. The push, the lift, the teleport, but a lot of them visually look different and have some neat functionality, like little, little spice to them. One thing I really like about him too, and I think people will learn quickly, is that he is his combo freedom is, is pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of different stuff you can do combo wise and wading into combos with Ermac, which is gonna get me really excited. But I also don't think he's gonna be that hard to 
play. I think there's going to be a lot of options, mm -hmm. and I think it'll require a little bit of execution, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, I never find a lot of analysis paralysis on questions. I, I, I analysis paralysis? I don't have to. But if it's there, and I'm able to do it, I will. Like, I think a lot of different levels of players are important. So it's simple, but with stats. Yeah, sure. I feel like that's, I honestly that's what you want with the character? It has. Yeah. There, yeah. There's a lot of characters where you can just get the ground running and do the fun specials and do really cool stuff in combat, or you can dig in deeper and play longer and really get to the, to the real deep stuff. That's how Quan Chi kind of was, you know? So, now that we've talked about Ermac, we see how he plays. All right, let's see. All right. Now that stance, bro. And they got Pete Wentz up there, too. <laughs> Some of his gear is some oh, of the coolest. It's gnarly. There's, yeah. there's, there's a helmet that I have been wearing. What's this music in the background? Uh, his movement's awesome. I I love the like. Weird yeah, I love he looks like a corpse. Like he walks back and forth. he's like a he's because it, it's true to what he is. He's just a, a corpse being piloted by a shit ton of souls, you know. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to see that. He like walks forward, walks back, and like the very almost like zombie-ish like slug to him that zombie is like like what's it called to it like a sluggish walk to him so i'm trying to say <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't get the uh, sentence out tbh oh so that's just the grab okay i bet you that's super punishable on block that final hit with the uh the grab I wonder if we get a, a second jump after that. It takes a lot of the onus off of you. you you're, it's, it's a pop-up combo. He gets way up in the air and you can do stuff. And I think you'll see that he has a lot of really cool air combos and air enders and stuff he like has that. Some, he has a, some of the most air moves in the game, I would say. Uh, That's because he's air max. Oh, oh, there we are. There we are. This move. That's kind of lame. The, uh, More of a pushback move. Yeah, you could definitely call in a cameo out there, like Sonya, Cammy. You're working up to it. We're gonna work up to it. Um, torch four is really neat. This is just neat. And then torch four three is just it knocks them away. This is another move that, on the outset, looks just like a like a jumping knee. Right. A lot more is gonna come from that later. We will get back to that as well. Yeah, oh, so on his buff, when you do the banshee buff, he gets more off that string. That's what he's. Uh, is what, it's what's he. Uh, what's what he's alluding to? I'm trying to, I'm trying to say. Wait. So that goes over lows. Not anymore with Kung Lao. <laughs> on hit, yeah, but on block, no. And then Frost is full on punishable if you block it, so. But they do come out quick, is what they're trying to say. That's a pretty decent ratio. It's kind of like a Quan Chi skeleton.
skeletal witch lady. Now you can also meter burn that for the trapple. Hold, okay. And do air combos or whatever you want to do after that. It's just super cool. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, he's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Uh, he's got a push. Yep. And has a good amount of range. That's, That's my guy. Thing. That was yeah, my right? guy. Mm, okay, so got that move back. I love how like the multiple hands like come and just hold you. It's so it's such a cool detail, man. I love it. That'd be a cool brutality. I want to see that. Probably uh, not the greatest wake up option, but it'll, it'll stop some people. This teleport. teleports back. Yeah, we saw that. He could do that in MKX, right? Then they gave him a squid. They basically gave him a fucking scorpion's uh, <laughs> teleport, pretty much. Like I said, don't do that to me, baby. I'll, I'll, I will up block that and I will punish you for it. <laughs> I, that's all I'm saying. Just be careful when you do that. Okay, so it's like Sindel's hover. Yeah, so it's exactly Sindel's hover. Okay. Yes, I do. What about that knee? So you can cancel into me with teleport. With with levity. So you can continue pressure. Yeah, so instant overhead is crazy. Lots of things you can do with that. So if he's in the air, he can do his levitate, which opens up a lot of things. Like this string I showed him. Mm, mm, mm. All right, nice little combo. 30% is not bad either for one bar. It'll be better, but I saw it's not an optimized combo, so probably do a lot more damage with one bar, to be honest. No, I do the rain pose. How much does it take off the bar, though, is the question. Because it'll determine whether or not how strong this move is. Oh, that's sick. So it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like Johnny's charge punch, you know, like Johnny like John has like, like that that charge gut punch that he does that puts you into crumple state. Uh, like Johnny has that, and Rain has that with like that water turret that he does. So that's interesting. Because I played against a Johnny that did that, that had a really cool setup into the uh, into the um gut punch charge gut punch with uh jan it was it was pretty cool to see did a lot of fucking damage too <laughs> okay okay cool you got it and so that it just always like constant pressure continuing moving forward pressuring them teleporting around just like you were talking about
talked about earlier, I love the term you use, mental stack. Yeah. There's a, so much, like a lot of our characters, there's so much stuff you have to think about while you're fighting them that could happen at any time. It also seems like a reoccurring thing here is combo options, possibility, yes. routes. Very cool. Uh, one of my favorite moves he has is this. He's got... This oh. is what the fuck? only quote-unquote projectile. As you can see, it runs across the ground. You can only do it in the air. Oh, I love like the handprints, like that, like run up the uh, the floor. Yeah, look at that. You see that? The handprints. That's pretty cool. I don't know why it's handprints and not feet, but you know. Nah. Oh, so that's his restand from that move. That's interesting. Damn, so basically from one bun, Ermac has like so four different options it can do to you. With these cancels, with these, these air so it kind of like has like kind of like Shindel's kind of like shenanigans, but better. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that doesn't seem fair. Right, like it's Mortal Kombat and ghosts are inherently, they've left this mortal coil. They sure have. Uh, and yeah, he, he's got plenty of help. Yeah. Um, which is awesome. I guess they're all part of them, so it's fair. It is, it, it is him. Yeah. It is him still the same. We should definitely show his uh, fatal blow. Fatal blow. Like it is a projectile. What? Oh, it's a yeah. projectile. Oh wow! So we finally have a full screen pun it or a full screen um fatal blow. We haven't had one at all this game. Because if you remember back in MK11, the only two characters that had a full screen projectile fatal blow was uh, Aaron Black and Frost. So it's pretty cool to see that uh, Ermac has that. I wonder, does Sub-Zero's Ice Armor block that because it's considered a projectile? And I wonder if the, if it's the same thing for uh, Peacemaker's... Uh, what is it called? Uh, um, force Field. I wonder if that... I wonder if those are like the two counters to that. That'd be fucking crazy if that was the case. Alright, so looks like it'd be showing off Movado now? Yeah, okay, move auto. Um, I think this is a cool one. I mean, it was the nineties. Leather jacket, you can't go wrong with long leather right. jacket like that was just that was just cool. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Movado didn't show up till the two thousand, but okay. Let's take a look at uh Movado. So Movado has a bunch of he he does a couple things. He has some setup tools, he has some combo extension tools, he has a way you can, you know, break use uh ball of block and push stuff back, which I will not be showing in the trailer. Mm -hmm. In fact, I cannot do that. Uh Cool stuff. So let's take a look. One thing he has that's really neat. Uh, we'll just Wait, back. so the pushback flawless block is only for Movado? Wow, that just bumped him up the tier list. Yeah, now they can block that. Is that some red dragon tech right there? That's right. Yeah. Oh, so it's a mid. Boom. Oh, it pulls him in. Okay. Created by the same scientist that built Sue Howe's uh, chess play. It sure feels like it, right? So he's got that. He can also, this is this is one of my favorites. This is generally used for a nice combo in. Uh, no mad <laughs> that's funny that is, that is a cabal move from mk deception i'm so excited to have movado in he stole his hook swords in deception he stole nomad's touch what a criminal yeah, i, I love it. A criminal. I think well known criminal. he takes a little damage the other person takes a little bit of damage he also has this is really cool when you knock them down Okay, so he has, he has an OTG summon. That's pretty cool. Or a uh, ambush. So they have to, they just have to hold them. Yep. Um, and that's what I've been, that's sort of what I've been sort of theory crafting its use as. Um, super cool. Um, one, the, the two other moves he has, like from these knees, we talked about these earlier. If they're in the air, he can fly back towards them and knock them back. Who does that? Does I feel like the camera that does that? And that is neat because normally you cannot combo after an uppercut. You can actually. Do you forget your own game? 
You have to spend two bars to do it, but yeah, you can do it. So in a way, uh, Movado's like uppercut thing is kind of like uh, Sectors, except that it's an ambush instead of a summon like Sectors, which is actually really sick. Down. Yeah, I might be using Movado with Katana, man. Who knows? Damn, thirty percent for that's not bad. Damn, so that push block that we saw is only for Movado. That's damn. Okay. I mean, it's cool that he has that because that makes him the only character that has that. But I wish we got a new defensive option in general, man. Like this game seriously needs it. And they, they will be showing off uh like the competitive gameplay that we see. Good old birthday shout outs. Yeah, the QA fight. Homelander? So happy birthday to I'm just saying. Lopez Homelander, is that what they're gonna show off? We're going with that one. And I know it I know he's not been like the I know he's been tired of saying it, but Anthony Starr, is he voicing him? That'd be sick. <laughs> I know he's like been saying I know he's been like getting tired of people saying if he's gonna voice uh obviously his own character. <laughs> but come on man. Like look, we already had that with Terminator. We can't have that with Homelander. Come on now. I could take I I could take Terminator, you know, but come on, Homelander. Bill Burr. We'll uh, <laughs> say Bill Bussy. I think the most thing that got me hyped was fucking Shujinko, bro. Dude, the Shujinko, like... Can I even call them buffs? Because he's not bad. He's not a bad cameo. He's very situational, but man, the new moves that they're giving him... Might just bump them up a bit. I'm hyped, bro. I'm fucking hyped for, Sh for the Shujinko changes, man. I'm so hyped. I'm hyped, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Let me turn this on just a bit. Kind of loud in my ears. I hit that move up block. No, that's a crazy. That's 
That mix-up is disgusting. And if that ever happens to me, I'm rage quitting. I'm I'm not even joking when I say that. I'm rage quitting that shit. I'm rage quitting that shit. I'm rage quitting that shit. If I get hit with that mix-up, it's a done deal. Damn, what is this damage? That damage is ridiculous. 55%? That was crazy. Damn, the double overhead. Okay, so if he's in a crumple state, it doesn't work. Okay, that makes sense. No, bro. Okay, there. that's the buff that Reptile fans have been wanting, man. Reptile players finally got the buff they were asking for, bro. Now Reptile has mix-ups from his fucking... Uh, from like his like, teleport move. Like his vanish move, that's crazy. You know, honeybees fucking scream into the heavens. Yeah, what the hell? So only okay, that what you just saw. Only Movado can do that. Nobody else. That's crazy. Again, that kind of sucks because I wish that was just a defensive mechanic in general. But uh, oh, there's the brutality. Damn, damn. Toss that mineral like a fucking sack of potatoes. That was crazy. <laughs> that was cool. All right, was that it? I think that was it. They did say something else. Oh, I guess the brutal, the brutal part was just the brutality. Okay, that was cool, man. That was cool. That was really sick, dude. All these, man. Obviously, Urmax looks sick. Movado looks sick. Again, I thought from what we saw in the trailer that that was going to be a new defensive option. You know, the pushback that i think everybody was kind of i don't want to say everybody was hoping for but something that we wish they want that we what something that we wish they would add because this game doesn't have many defensive options to begin with um so to see that only movado kind of has like that pushback option kind of like sucks but that really does like bump them up like the tier list of like cameos man because he almost all of his moves are ambush except for i think two uh maybe one or two moves are summoned but the rest are all ambush and the fact that he gets like that you know flawless block pushback is pretty sick man pretty sick uh and then oh my god you know shujinko buffs i i is that what i can call them because again shujinko is not a bad cameo He's very situational, but he's not a bad cameo in general, you know, because if you don't know that when, when Shujinko does some of the characters' moves, they usually are, like, better than the characters' moves in general. Like, uh, normally, like, against Sub-Zero, on block, Sub-Zero's Ice Ball is always a punish. It's You can punish it every time, but with Shujinko, it's, like, safe. It's safe on block. That's how crazy that is. <laughs> it's safe on block, dude. So... Can you call those a buffs? I, upgrades is what they're pretty much it is. They Shujinko got upgraded is pretty much the fact, but I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped for those Shujinko changes, dude. I can't wait for tomorrow because I'm definitely going to go into the lab and test out Shujinko with the girl Ashra because uh, that, that's my team with Shujinko. Um, but other than that, man, every other character, you know, uh, the other two characters look great, man. Ermac looks awesome. I'm definitely going to be playing him. He's got some mix up options. Uh, Movado, he's going to be dropping uh, relatively soon, like the next, like, maybe one to two weeks. Two to, yeah, one to two weeks, maybe three weeks. He'll be dropping. Obviously, tomorrow we're getting the new Season of Storms, where we're getting the Dark Raiden skin for Raiden, which is kind of weird because uh, it's like the, it's literally MK1 Raiden skin or MK11 Dark Raiden skin, but with MK1 Raiden face. So it's a little weird, <laughs> but um, uh, can't wait for that. And then the new changes to uh, invasions are pretty sick too, man. They're doing some more variety. Cause let's be honest, invasions can is is boring. It's boring, dude. It is so boring. <laughs> it's so boring. It's such a tedious grind that you just can't wait for it to be over with. So the fact that they're adding some newer things to uh, invasions is pretty sick, man. But that's gonna be all for today's episode, you guys. Uh, 
yeah i'm actually really hyped for next season man i'm really hyped for the next season which starts tomorrow april 16th man uh but that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy please like comment and subscribe it is your boy white album i will see you guys next time <laughs>